hello guys welcome to the dms online school if you are new to this channel you are most welcome and on this channel i teach mathematics science biology and also revise past examination papers all right sometimes i also offer predictions in science and biology like in yesterday's video i offered prediction for science paper one for internals 2022 and in today's video i will be offering the 2022 science paper two predictions for internals and in tomorrow's video i'm going to offer uh, 2022 biology paper two predictions for internals all right so if what i do on this channel is what you're interested in please consider clicking the red subscribe button below and turn on the notification so that whenever i upload a new video youtube will be able to not you and you will have an opportunity to see the video all right so just like we did yesterday the words that have been highlighted in a red just mean that those topics or subtopics have high probability of appearing in the uh, exam and then those highlighted in green are actually topics or subtopics that are ever present in the exam and then those highlighted in black are just topics and subtopics that may just pop up in the exam all right so without wasting much of your time let's go straight into the prediction all right so we are starting with the introduction to chemistry so under introduction to chemistry you must or you must be able to explain the importance of chemistry and also describe the challenges of chemical industrial activities and demonstrate an application of safety in the laboratory and also you have to be able to look at uh, this other topic known as the particulate nature of matter so under particulate nature of matter you need to look at the classify the basic units of matter and also classify or describe the absorption of heat and the release of heat during changes of states of matter and also demonstrate diffusion in fluids and then we need to move from this topic to another topic which is just experimental techniques under experimental techniques you have to look at identifying different measuring apparatus used in chemistry and also describe the differences between a pure substance and a mixture and also demonstrate how to determine the purity of a substance and also explain the importance of purity of a substance all right so also here you have to look at it uh, you demonstrate a different methods of separating mixtures now in this case uh, fractional distillation is expected to be present in this year's exam and also you need to be able to interpret simple paper chromatograms and also you need to look at uh, this other topic atoms elements compounds and the uh, uh, molecules so it is highlighted in uh, green all right so under here you need to be able to describe the relative charges and approximate relative masses of protons neutrons and the electrons and also describe isotopes uh, isotopes and also calculate relative atomic mass of an element given the percentage abundances of isotopes and from a mass a spectrometer and also describe the uses of radio I radioactive isotopes and also you need to also be able to describe a compound and also be able to demonstrate the formation of ionic or electrovalent bonds and also demonstrate the formation of covalent bonds and also identify the differences between uh, in properties of ionic and covalent compounds and describe the uses of ionic and the covalent compounds and also describe valence and the valence and valency electrons and also formulate chemical formulae of uh, compounds all right then from here you need also to look at this uh, other subtopic which is actually uh, no, 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 no. You need also to look at the describing metallic bond and also describe the electrical and the thermal conductivity of metals. And then you need also to know uh, to formulate weight equations and also formulate and balance chemical equations and also construct net ionic equations from balanced chemical equations. All right. Then from here, guys, you need to look at the acid bases and the sorts. So under acid bases and sorts, you need also to be able to describe acids bases or alkalis in terms of ions they contain or produce in an aqueous solution and also 
describe neutrality, acidity, and alkalinity in terms of pH value and uh, demonstrate the characteristics, properties of acid, characteristic properties of acid, and also demonstrate the characteristic properties of bases and also classify salts according to their nature and solubility in water. All right. Then from here, also you need to be able to demonstrate the preparation of an insoluble salt and also demonstrate the preparation of soluble salts. All right. So there are videos already that have been done on salts. They are on my channel. So you can just scroll through the channel so that you can revise those. Also here, you need also to demonstrate the existence of hydrated salts and the uh, differentiate from anhydrous salts and also describe the behavior of salts we see reference to the atmosphere and also describe the uh, various types of oxides then from here you need to look at the, the more concept so it is highlighted in green and under the more concept you, you must be able to describe and calculate the relative formula mass and the molecular mass of a compound and also describe a more and also calculate the physical masses of any substance using the molar mass and also calculate the physical volume of any gas at RITP. So equally I have the uh, lessons on my channel, they are free, you can quickly uh, browse through my channel and be able to access these videos. Alright, so from here we need also to be able to demonstrate the concentration, uh, most, uh, determine the concentration of a solution and apply dilution law and also perform calculations involving stoichiometry and also uh, describe and calculate the percentage UD in a reaction and the percentage purity of a substance. And then you need also to be able to determine a limiting reagent in a given reaction. So this video actually, uh, this lesson is actually present also on my channel all right so from here also guys you need now to look at the chemical reactions under chemical reactions guys you need to describe rate of a chemical reaction and also demonstrate the factors that affect the rates of chemical reactions and also interpret data on the rate of chemical reactions and describe methods of controlling the rate of chemical reactions and also describe the effect of a catalyst on the activation energy then from here you need to look at the periodic table under the periodic table you must be able to describe the physical and chemical properties of elements in group one two uh, uh, describe the physical and chemical properties of elements in group one two uh, seven and the eight and also describe the harmful effects of halides and also describe the use of the noble gases in providing an innate atmosphere and also describe general properties of transition metals and also describe the uses of transition metals all right then from here guys you need to look at the metals under metals you must be able to describe the uh, diagrammatic representation of pure metals and also describe the physical properties of metals and describe the chemical properties of metals and describe the reactivity series of metals and also explain the apparent non reactivity of aluminium and also be able to uh, describe the effects of heat on hydroxides, carbonates, nitrates of metals, and ammonium carbonates. So this topic on metals, I have the full topic on metals, but it is available on demand. When you make a payment of 60 kwacha, then you can have the full topic on metals. All right, where I've also uh, explained about the effects of heat on hydroxide carbonates, nitrates of metals, and ammonium compounds. All right, so under also here you need also to be able to describe the extraction of metals of copper iron and zinc from their ores and also describe the uses of uh, copper iron zinc and aluminium all right and also be able to explain the harmful effects of some metals and also describe alloys all right and then also be able to describe diagrammatic representations of alloys all right so also you need to be able to explain the advantage 
advantages of using alloys over pure metals and also identify common uses of alloys and describe also corrosion and also describe different methods of preventing uh, corrosion and also you need to look at now nanometers so under nanometers you need to be able to demonstrate the laboratory preparation in fact here you need to be able to describe the prepare uh, you need to be able to describe the laboratory preparation collection and test for hydrogen gas and also describe the physical and chemical properties of hydrogen and also describe industrial manufacture of hydrogen and also describe the uses of hydrogen and also uh, demonstrate the laboratory preparation collection and test for oxygen and also describe the physical and chemical properties of oxygen and also you need to be able to describe the industrial manufacture of oxygen and also describe the uses of oxygen in industry and in natural processes and also describe the manufacture of nitric acid and describe also industrial manufacture of nitrogen and also explain the characteristics and importance of nitrogen as a gas and also be able to explain the importance of nitrogenous fertilizers all right then from here you need also now to look at organic chemistry and organic chemistry you need to be able to now look at the uh, uh, saturated and unsaturated hydrocarbons these are alkenes and alkanes and then you need to be able to describe fractional distillation of petroleum crude oil and also describe the uses of the fractions of crude oil and also describe natural macro molecules all right so these are the things guys that you need to actually uh, look at so as i said those that have been highlighted in red they have high probability of coming in the exam and then those that have been highlighted in green actually do not miss in the exam like this topic of organic chemistry does not miss but these subtopics which are here are the ones that have high probability of actually uh, coming in the exam looking at how the exam has been uh, coming other years these have not actually been are coming all right so guys again if you need materials for for actually uh no i mean for studies actually uh at a small fee you may call on this number that is just passing here or whatsapp me and again if you need a revision package for science paper one and two which are videos of me revising past examination papers from 2015 to 2021 then you may also call me on the same number or whatsapp me on the same number so that we can do uh, arrangement for it so that you may be able to prepare yourself enough for this coming exam all right guys as for now bye and see you in the other video please peace